Julian, well done. Thank you. Yeah, that's mad racing. That's fun as. Um, just like to thank Warren for giving me the drive again. Um, these are, it's cool racing with these big names. Um, but yeah, massive thanks to Warren and all the crew in the pits. There we go. There's our podium once again, folks, as the Amca Nationals are off on their feature race and Steve Price leads the way. Down the back straight away, Price leads from Steve Potts. Then we go back to Bruce Marshall, Kevy Stowe, Brett Robotham, Maverick Dak. The rest of the field just trying to sort themselves out at the moment as we got 18 left to run on the BK trading board. Out of turn four once again, and it is still Steve Price that leads the way. Marshall now having a look over and under Steve Potts, can't get the job done. These three have started to clear out a little. From Kevy Stowe sitting back there in fourth spot. Look at uh, Sparks fly off the back of the Potts machine as he gets the fence on the way past the starter stand. You can throw a hanky over the front three at the moment. Have a look at them. They're across the track once again. Great respect shown by all three peddlers. Price, Potts on the outside. Marshall in the middle. Now drops back behind Price. Kevy Stowe back there and forth just watching these three disappear into the distance. Brett Robotham, Maverick Dak, Scotty Hitchcock. Then we go back to Troy Price. Mark Taylor, oh, car squared up on him as he got into three and headed up towards the fence. Shane Stacey. Then we go back to the uh, 80 machine of Robert Warren and the 72 of Nick Stacey rounding out the field is the 69 of Muller. That time through, Potts got the better of Price. In fact, Marshall's got the better of Price. And Steve Price goes from first back to third. Potts leads. Marshall gives Chase a slower car. He's going to uh, balk Marshall's run as he tried to go down the inside of Potts. He had to get on the outside of the Muller car and get past. There's about a car length between each of the front three cars at the moment. Being led by Steve Potts, Bruce Marshall, Steve Price. Then we go back to Kev Stowe, Brett Robotham having a lonely run. Andy Kim under plenty of pressure from Scotty Hitchcock. We go back to Troy Price, Shane Stacey. Nick Stacey still in the tail of the field. The leaders go through once again. And uh, Steve Price just starting to drop back off the back of this battle as Marshall trying to get on level terms with Steve Potts the Race Basics Oxley 32 machine leads the way and has done for the last few laps they're just starting to drop price off the City Steel 6 machine just doesn't seem to have the pace or the setup for the track conditions at the moment Marshall He's exploring high and low. He's all over the racetrack as he tries to make up those couple of car lengths to the back of Steve Potts. Slower traffic could come into play with about seven laps remaining. Potts comes up on the back of Nick Stacey. Stacey comes out at two. Gives the uh, leaders room on the top side of the racetrack. Marshall closes in about half a car length. Price has dropped back and out of this battle now. It is a battle in two for the race win. Slower traffic on the high side. Potsfield, Steve Price. Kevy Stowe, Brett Robotham, they all bunch up as Potts just slows the field up. Back to green we go. Steve Price has got renewed vigor after that yellow. He's fired it down the bottom of the inside of Marshall. Can he get second position back? They rub wheels, sparks fly. Marshall is right in the middle of these three, uh, these two at the moment. Three wide almost across the racetrack. Potts hangs on to the lead. Marshall's now got back up into second. Price is back in third and he's under fire from Kevy Stowe in the 17 machine. Robotham back there from Andy, uh, from um, Maverick Dak. Bruce Marshall down the inside. 
Potts on the outside. Marshall's got the bottom line. Can he keep it? Potts gets a bit more speed up on the top side of the racetrack. There'll be three to go this time across the stripe. Side by side, they run out of turn four. Potts gets his nose in front. Marshall gets his nose back in front through the one, two turns down the bottom of the track. Potts looks to keep the momentum up on the top side. He's faster through the three, four turns on the top than Marshall is on the bottom, but it's vice versa down in one and two. It's half a car length to Potts that time across the stripe. Down the back they go once again. Marshall's got his nose in front, but Potts on the high side of the racetrack. Looks like he got over the cushion a touch there as Marshall just pushed him up the racetrack a touch. And Potts has dropped back a couple of car lengths down the back for the final time. The 27 machine of Bruce Marshall through the three, four turns and on the gas and Bruce Marshall will take victory. Steve Potts in second, third to Steve Price. Kemi Stowe, Brett Robotham, Troy Price, Maverick Dax, Scotty Hitchcock, Shane Stacey. The only machine of Robert Warren and Nick Stacey rounds out the runners. Oh, thanks to shock absorber therapy. What a round of the Amca Nationals, folks. Give them a big round of applause. One racing at the front, Mac, and they never fail to put on a show, do they? Those top three are just getting better and better every week here at Brisbane's Archfield Speedway. It, uh, it is an absolute pleasure to watch them go wheel to wheel at, uh, here on the clayway. And uh, Brucey Marshall once again proving that uh, this is his backyard this year. He's taken it away from Pricey and doing a fantastic job in the 27. I think this is round four of the Shock Observer Therapy Series, is it not? Uh, yeah, I think so. Pretty certain it is. As we wait for our podium to make their way out, the sprint cars for tonight's A-Main round six of the East Coast Logistics Series making their way out onto the racetrack as our play skitters make their way out of the car. We wait for Bruce to extract himself. We'll get on with the presentation. In third place tonight, put your hands together for Steve Price. Congratulations, mate. Well done. Uh, mate, uh, fairly tough trying to follow these two guys. Once they got past you, you sort of lost a bit of ground and weren't able to make it up, really. Yeah, I'm still trying to chase a good setup with this front end that the boys have been running for 18 months. So uh, we're slowly getting there. Um, I'd like to thank uh, Cherie and Graham Holland coming on board, help sponsor us with some shocks and that, and we're heading in the right direction. Haven't got the speed of these two on the slick track yet, but we're getting there. That's the main thing, brother. You're going forward, but uh, congratulations on your third place tonight. Well done. Thanks, mate. In second place tonight, put your hands together for Steve Potts. Congratulations, mate. Uh, tough battle out there between you and Bruce, and, and of course, Steve, three-way battle earlier on, but... Uh, Mate, I've got to tell you, respect shown by everybody uh, all around. Yeah, no, that, that was awesome. Um, doesn't get much better than that. And uh, I just made, got a little bit wide there out of four, and I was a bit loose coming out of there, and that just gave Bruce that momentum. And um, his credit, he, um, he's a smart driver, and he just sort of took my line away, and I was, I was pretty much done then. So, But that's good fun. You know, we're all great mates, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's awesome. So I just want to thank um, Mick Corrali at Panther Chassis, we've been working on a few things and um, he's helped me out a lot and um, family back home and in the pits and uh, thanks to everyone that makes this happen, everyone at Archerfield Speedway, thank you very much. Well done mate. And your round four winner tonight for Shock Absorber Therapy Series in the Anchor Nationals, put your hands together for Bruce Marshall. Congratulations buddy, feature winner sticker, another one to stick on, uh, on the girl, but uh, mate, uh, what a great driver. I, I said during that call that uh, Steve had the speed through three and four on the top side but you had the speed on the bottom through one and two and it was it was half a car length here and those there and it, until he admitted he made a mistake down the bottom. I was a little worried actually I thought I'm gonna have him off turn two and, I, and he'll have me off turn four and I had to sort of squeeze him a little on the on the straight there to, to make sure I got the pass done. Yeah he had the speed where it mattered going across the checkered flag. Yeah, yeah, that's that's the important one. I really do love getting these stickers. They are fantastic. They're hard to earn. 
I uh, really want to say thanks to Mick Corrali, the guy that builds these chassis, because he gave me a bit of stick during the week and said that I was fast, but the car isn't. So I did a bit of work, extra work on the car this week. So I hope he watches this video. Congratulations, mate. Well done. A couple of people you want to thank quickly. Oh, I just want to thank the two Steves there. I mean, like, that was just awesome fun. We were beating and banging off turn two just after that restart, and it was like, hold on. So it's great racing with these guys. Another over 50s podium. Nothing like a bit of grey hair up here. Yeah, that's what Sammy Potts was on, but a lot of grey hair yeah. down there. <laughs> yeah, all over 50s. It's the over 50s podium. There's no two ways about it. I mean, I think they've had that a couple of times this season so far, haven't they? Yeah, that's but, uh, Give them a round of applause, Brisbane. The uh, Shock Absorber Therapy Round 4 podium. Steve Price, Steve Potts, and tonight's winner, Bruce Marshall.